Good morning, welcome to Minglewood Dairy. Uh, it's my pleasure to do a walking tour with you this morning. My name is Don Mayer. I work as a robotic sales specialist here in western Wisconsin and southeastern Minnesota, northeastern Iowa. Uh, it's, it's really a pleasure to work with farm families and help them uh, put together uh, th their next uh, facility. So with that, we'll go ahead and start looking at Minglewood Dairy. So here at Minglewood Dairy, from a milk storage standpoint, everything is kept in, in tankers and it takes them about 28 hours to fill a tanker. So let's walk into the milk room. You can see there are three bays here. So they could have three different tankers um, ready to accept milk. And being that it is direct load, they have to have a plate cooler. And, and here it is, they have to have a plate cooler and this plate cooler has two passes. One is for water, so they take it as cold as they can with well water. And then the second half of it is chilled. So then that gets it down to the temperature they need to store it on the, on the tanker. Next, we'll walk through the, the equipment room. In the equipment room, you can see um, they have their air compressor, uh, water conditioning and water filtering, and then they also have their, their teat dip. So on our way out to the barn, we'll pass through uh, the herdsman's office. This is the herdsman's office. And you can see out into the the actual facility from here. So this uh, robotic facility actually has eight BMSs in it, and it's two BMSs per pen. So you can see uh, on this end of the barn are the robot uh, robots themselves, and it, it is a total booth layout, meaning that the, the cows walk through them and there is a commitment area in front of the robots. Then the cow goes in and is milked, and when she exits, she, she doesn't come back into that commitment area. So there's a cow right there going into a smart selection gate. The gate says she has milking permissions, so she walks right into that commitment area. If she didn't have milking permissions, it would let her come through and into the feed alley. And when the cows exit the robot, they actually come into the feed alley, and we'll see that later on when we walk up on that end. It is deep bedded sand here, so they, you know, as things go, they have the gold standard of bedding. You can see, and it's a, this is a good place to see it, there's a manure alley here, and it's separated from the free stalls. So in, in order for a cow to lay down, she has to go through a walkway to get to the free stall area. And once she's in that free stall area, to come back to the feed bunk, she has to go through that smart selection gate that we just saw that cow pass through. So you can see here, there's swinging cow brushes in each of the pens as well. Just that creature comfort thing. Throughout the barn, there are waterers. Here's another swinging cow brush. So this is, this is a tunnel ventilated barn. So it is uh, pulling air uh, across the backs of the cows. There is a foot bath here at the end, so you can see a crossover alley. And then also right here, you can see the foot bath. So a single lane crossover, this gate can be moved over and it allows access to the, the foot bath. From this end, you can see here's the manure alley. And then we come over here and here are the free stalls. And these cows, all have access to the first two BMSs. So you can see this area is separated from the free stalls proper. So you can 
ca capture cows here for, for whatever reason. Maybe you're breeding cows, um, maybe it's vet check day, maybe it's dry off. So when the cows exit the VMS, they come through this single lane. And if they're a sort cow, they'll be funneled over here. If not, they'll just go back to the feed lane. So now we, we've just entered the robot room and this is one of the double rooms. So there'll be two robots in here. And when you walk in, there's a small equipment room or area. So you can see the vacuum pumps in here. And you can also see uh, the battery backups, the water system. There's a water heater local. So as you think about a robot facility, one of the critical things is that you have enough water and enough hot water to wash it. And having the water heater close by is a, is a good idea. So here we're, we're prepping the cow. And this process is using warm water and a sanitizing solution, um, air and vacuum to prep that cow's teeth. Now it's gonna begin attaching the cow. Here we are, we have a cow attached and actively milking. And on this, now we're gonna to begin to detach. And each quarter detaches when it's ready. Um, there's a, a milk meter on each quarter. And we're also sensing conductivity and we're looking for blood. You can see on the monitor uh, here on the, the touch screen by the robot, uh, we're keeping track of how much we're expected to get and how much we actually get along with flow rate on a per quarter basis. And you can also see um, the total yield and what is expected as well. And then it's going to go ahead and spray, dip, and back flush. And now it's rinsing the, the camera off. Thanks for joining us here at Minglewood Dairy today. Um, as you go forward with uh, looking at different facilities, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to, uh, to reach out to your local Deal of Al dealer or your Deal of Al representative.